My first impression of Bipad was actually a positive surprise because it's a very fun game, something that I hadn't worked on so much before, a casual game that's about collaboration, about puzzle solving. So um, yeah, I was really looking forward to seeing how music could fit. We have one side, we have the earth, the human, the nature element, which um, comes with world music influences with acoustic instruments. And on the other side, we have the robot world, which comes with electronic sounds. Needless to say that in order for these organic terrestrial elements to work, we needed them to be by actual living human performers. We ended up using ethnic instruments from all over the world, really. And even though it's pretty eclectic at times, for the most part, instrument and style choices correspond with a certain environment. For example, for rainy runes, a more archaic feel with Native American flute seemed appropriate. For the desert, we have a Western country flavor with banjo and harmonica. Then there's the snow levels with an aquatic feel with mallets and water bowl percussion and some bandy iwi thrown in. The river levels have a Celtic feel with tin whistle and bodron. Or for the dense forest, the very first level, we have this sort of woodsy feeling created with Indian flute. But also Udu drums, which are African, but seem to work anyways. We also needed great performers because improvisation became essential to the score early on when I realized that the ludic element from the gameplay, that trial and error, playful exploration, is just a lot like improvised music. In fact, incorporating improvisation seemed so appropriate that I took it a step further even so that also in my composition, the, even the, the elements that are not recorded, the way I composed them were less driven by planning and more open to um, inspiration from the moment. Good. I felt beautiful. I think that might work. What do you think, Thomas? Hallelujah. Let's keep going. As a scoring composer, I tend to be drawn to projects that live in between genres. So Biped was serendipity, really. And I'm very glad I could contribute a small part with my music. Even more so because it allowed me to delve into my deep love of jazz, which is really rare, unfortunately. In a more general sense, I would also say that crossover projects are important to foster a wider view. A wider view that goes beyond just music, I believe. So I'm excited to see that these days, different genres are more and more coming together and mixing up new genre-defined ways. And I think film music or scoring was always a place where this happened. So um, maybe it's going to happen even more so. I, I would wish for it, for sure.